Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we will be doing the performance testing of the new Lava Agni 3. So we have done the poll uh, in the community tab whether you wanted uh, the uh, performance testing of this device and uh, almost everyone suggested that we do this test to ascertain how good the performance is. So in this video we will be doing the performance testing. We will mainly focus on the, uh, the CPU throttling test um, with the Dimensity 7300X chip. Now the Dimensity 7300X is uh, a very of the Dimensity 7300 uh, basically for dual display so this is the first uh, device with the 7300X chip and uh, this comes at UFS 3.1 and LPDD of 5 RAM so it's quite good in terms of hardware and let's see how good the performance is so we'll start off with uh, CPU throttling test then we'll go to the uh, uh, stress test and then we'll uh, see the benchmark scores uh, the storage test and also uh, the Geekbench test for this device so let's begin so before that this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so let's get started with uh, the performance testing of the lava agni 3 so first let's go to the about device so you can see here dimensity 7300 x chip and this is 8 gigabyte ram and we have android uh, 14 out of the box uh, lava agni 3 so that's the ui experience so let's start with uh, the cpu throttling test uh, this is the test we are going to do here we will show you the options so there you go we just starting the 15 minute test so let's begin So now we have completed uh, the CPU throttling test. You can see the temperature maximum is around 41 degrees and around 6% uh, of the battery is uh, down uh, with uh, the test. So you can see here CPU throttle to 84% of its max performance which is quite good I would say. So 84% and uh, temperature is around 41.5 degrees. So again it's uh, not bad and uh, you can see here around 5% uh, battery drain happened uh, uh, with uh, you can actually see here the battery drain uh, around uh, uh, 5, 5 to 6% battery drain with the CPU throttling test. Let's now go to the stress test. So the next test is the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. It's a demanding 20 minute test that shows how device performs under longer periods of heavy load. That's uh, kind of stressing the device uh, up to 20 minutes and uh, it produces a score which uh, shows the stability of the device, whether the performance is sustained. So let's start with the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. So now we have completed uh, with the stress test and you can see here the best loop score is 881 and the lowest loop score is 877. So you can see here stability is 99.6 percentage so it's pretty good because it's more of a, a mid-range device it's not a very high performing device the Dimensity 7300X uh, is uh, kind of a mid-range device so you can see here 99.6 percentage so stress test uh, the loop score is very good and you can see here battery went down from 51 percentage to 46 percentage so 5 percentage drop in the 20 minute uh, test and the temperature was around 35 degrees and uh, frame rate uh, 3 to 6 fps so temperature was remaining almost uh, normal and uh, you can see a battery was uh, just 5 percentage drop so that's uh, a wildlife extreme uh, test test uh, stress test and next let's go to the anti to score here and to do benchmark now here we can see here the score is 6,78,000 with the dimensity 7300x you can see the detailed score here uh, 2 lakh is the approximate CPU score 1 lakh 51,000 is the GPU score uh, and you can also see the memory score and you can see the temperature while testing went up from 34 to 37 degrees so not much of increase 3 degree increase and battery drain was around 4 percentage uh, you can see here the battery drain uh, 4 percentage drain in uh, uh, in the testing uh, you can see here the benchmark testing so next uh, let's see the storage test as well 
So you can see the storage test. This is UFS 3.1, one of the few devices offering UFS 3.1 in this price segment. So this is quite good score, I would say. And finally, let's go to the Geekbench uh, 6 test. Uh, so we already done the test. Uh, you can see here. 1073 is a single core score and 3333 is the multi core score which is again uh, quite good I would say. Uh, so that's the uh, uh, Geekbench test. So that was the performance testing of the Lava Agni 3. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. So overall I would say Lava Agni 3 did quite well uh, in terms of uh, the stress test, the CPU performances uh, or rather the CPU uh, throttling test and then even the storage values are good uh, and overall the benchmark scores are also good. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.